hello friends i welcome you in lecture number 9 on infinite series in this uh, lecture uh, we will talk about another important convergence test known as root test so we first understand what is root test so root test is also applicable for positive term series so suppose sigma an is a series with positive terms and suppose that limit of nth root of nth term that is limit of 1 by n power of nth term is say capital l then if this limit is less than 1 series is convergent if limit is greater than 1 series is divergent and test fails if l equal to 1 so because we are considering nth root of n plus 1th term this test is known as root test so we are interested in the limit of nth root of nth term of a given series if this limit is less than 1 series is convergent if this limit is greater than 1 series is divergent and the test is inconclusive if l equal to 1 so we consider some examples to understand root test here we are asked to test the convergence of the series 1 by 3 plus square of 2 by 5 plus cube of 3 by 7 and so on so we can see this is the nth term of this series uh, we can check if we consider n equal to 1 we have 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that is 1 by 3 raised to 1 if n is 2 we have 2 divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 plus 1 which is 5 for n equal to 3 we will obtain 3 by 7 so the nth term is the nth term of given series is a n equal to n divided by 2 n plus 1 n divided by 2n plus 1 raised to n and this is positive for all values of n so we can apply root test given series is a series with positive terms so we write that an is greater than 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1 now to apply ratio root test we will consider limit of 1 by n power of nth term or we consider nth root of nth term nth term is n divided by 2n plus 1 raised to n and we are considering 1 by nth power of this n divided by 2n plus 1 raised to n so we can see this n into 1 by n is 1 so we have limit n tending to infinity n divided by 2a plus 1 so this is uh, infinity by infinity if we consider n equal to infinity it is infinity by infinity in determinate form so we can apply l hospital rule we differentiate numerator and denominator by with respect to n so derivative of n is 1 here derivative of 2n plus 1 is 2 plus 0 so this is by l hospital rule and the limit of 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 it is independent of n if we wish uh, we can go in this way also we divide numerator and denominator by n so in the numerator we have n n divided by n is 1 and if we divide this by n we have 2 plus 1 by n so in this way also we obtain the same limit so that is our choice in the in which way we want to evaluate the limit so we obtain that limit of nth root of nth term is 1 by 2 and it is less than 1 so if limit is less than 1 the root test says that the series is convergent so by the root test 
uh, we write that given series is convergent so we can easily decide the convergence of a given series using root test we consider one more example discuss the convergence of the series sigma n equal to 2 to infinity n divided by log n raised to n here n is starting from 2 because for n equal to 1 this log 1 becomes 0 so it is undefined so this is the reason why we are given this series from n equal to 2 to infinity so first we write down the nth term of the given series the nth term is a n equal to n divided by log n raised to n and here n starts from 2 and we know that log x is positive if uh, x is greater than 1 so here n is starting from 2 so log n is always positive for n greater than or equal to 2 and n is always positive so clearly a n is greater than 0 for all n greater than or equal to 2 so given series is a series with positive terms so now we try to find out limit of nth root of nth term which is equal to limit n tending to infinity n divided by log n raised to n this is nth term raised to 1 by n so this is equal to limit n tending to infinity here we write n raised to 1 by n log n raised to n raised to 1 by n so n into 1 by n is 1 so we have log n now this we can rewrite as limit n tending to infinity n raised to 1 by n into limit n tending to infinity 1 over log n now we know that this limit is always equal to 1 if you wish you can prove by L hospital rule and uh, limit of log n as n tends to infinity this is 1 over infinity that is 1 into 0 which is 0 and it is less than 1 so limit of nth root of nth term is equal to 0 and it is less than 1 so therefore by the root test given series is convergent so in this uh, test all we have to take care is that we find out limit of nth root correctly and this is the last example which we will consider here nth term is a n equal to 2 raised to n divided by n square n is starting from 1 and this is positive for all n n greater than or equal to 1 so this is a series with positive terms so now we decide what is limit of a n raised to 1 by n as n tending to infinity so this is limit n tending to infinity 2 raised to n by n square raised to 1 by n so this is equal to limit n tending to infinity 2 raised to n raised to 1 by n which is 2 and n square raised to 1 by n so now 2 is independent of n and uh, we have 1 limit of 2 is 2 and uh, this we can rewrite as limit n tending to infinity 1 over n raised to 1 by n whole square so this is equal to limit of 1 that is 1 divided by limit of n raised to 1 by n whole square as n tends to infinity using 
रूल्स ऑफ लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इक्वल टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ लिमिट्स एंड लिमिट ऑफ वन इज वन लिमिट ऑफ एन रेस टू वन बाय एन होल स्क्वेयर सो अगेन यूजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिमिट वी कैन री राइट दिस एज लिमिट ऑफ एन रेस टू वन बाय एन एन डेंस टू इन्फिनिटी इक्वल टू अ होल स्क्वेयर सो लिमिट ऑफ स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ लिमिट now this limit is 1 so we have 2 divided by 1 square and this is equal to 2 and it is greater than 1 so here uh, we are using the fact that limit of n raised to 1 by n as n tends to infinity is always 1 so this uh, limit of nth root of nth term is equal to 2 which is greater than 1 therefore by the root test given series is divergent so this is very easy test to check the convergence of a given positive series uh, whenever our series has its nth term which contains powers of n then we can try for root test so this is all about root test i hope you like this lecture thank you very much